Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve a classic problem of plate with a hole. So we are going to model plate in 2D with dimensions of 50 mm by 100 mm and it has a 20 mm hole. So in this video, we are going to stick with SI mm units. So our dimension values will be in millimeter and stress values will be in megapascal. We are going to assume steel as material for this plate. So material parameters for steel are given over here. In your solid mechanics course, you must have learned whenever we introduce a hole in a plate, we get some stress concentration like this. So in this case, we should observe some stress concentration over here. And usually the stress concentration over here would be around three times of applied stress. So we should able to see around 30 megapascal stress over here. Let's start. Let's start with creating a part. I'm going to name it as plate. So I'm going to keep it 2D planar, deformable and shell. Continue. First, let's draw a rectangle and we can adjust the dimensions of rectangle using this button. So just click on the edge and give whatever value you want. So this is 50 mm and this one is 100 mm. By using this button, you can zoom into it. Then let's draw a circle. Again, using this, we can adjust the dimensions of circle. So the radius of hole is 10 mm. And then click at the center, click at this edge, and you can specify the dimension between that, so which is 25 mm. And again, center and left edge, which will be 50 mm. Click done and you will get a plate with a hole. Next is property. Let's create a material steel. We just have to input two values, Young's modulus, which is 200 gigapascal and, and poisons ratio 0 0.3. Let's create a section. Solid homogeneous material steel. Assign the section to this plate. Okay. Next assembly, create instance. Step. Now here we are going to create a static step. Don't have to change anything over here. Just keep everything as it is. Next is load. So now we are going to fix one side. fixed end. So this will be for initial step. All degrees of freedom zero. And then apply pressure on the right side. So that will be on a static step. Select pressure over here. And the magnitude should be minus 10. So it will be tensile loading. Okay. Now next is mesh. So first you have to select part because our mesh will be on part. So first set element type. Select the plate. So by default you will see plane stress elements are selected. So you can just keep that. Next is mesh controls. So over here you can see we have only option of free technique. The structured is not enabled. So that means we can't get a structured mesh over here because of the hole. So let's just try first how free mesh looks. So let's seed the part. I'm going to go with two and mesh it. So you can see because of hole, we are not getting symmetric mesh. And if the mesh is not symmetric, we will see some asymmetry in results as well. So it is very important to make mesh symmetric. So for that, what we can do is delete the mesh first of all, and then go back to part. And we just have to partition the part. So select partition face and just partition it in four segments, one vertical line and one horizontal line and say done. So now you can see part is partitioned in four sections. So now if you go back to mesh 
and again go to mesh controls select this entire area you can see the structured option is enabled so select structured say ok now you can see the part is green and now you can go ahead and mesh and you will see much cleaner mesh symmetric so we will not have any asymmetry due to mesh in our results next is job late with whole continue and let's submit it okay it's done let's go to results okay so you can see these are the results so this is a stress distribution so as expected we are seeing some stress concentration over here and over here and if you see the values value over here is around 30 megapascal and we are applying 10 megapascal so it is around three times so that's correct and you can also see stress in x direction stress in y direction and also displacement if you like this video please show your support by subscribing to this channel which will give me motivation to create more educational videos like these you can also go to channels playlist tab and here you can see all the videos with similar topics combined together for example let's say if you are interested in ansys tutorials you can go to this ansys tutorial playlist and see all the videos from this playlist all the codes and files which i use for these videos are also available for you to directly download from this channel's github profile the link of this profile is given in the description box below if you have any questions Please let me know in the comment section below and as always, thank you for watching.